right, thanks a lot, Amber. Uh, and uh, hey, the primary election is 10 days away, and all eyes are on the Democratic nomination for governor. It's former Honolulu Mayor Mufi Hanneman and former Congressman Neil Abercrombie. And joining us this morning to talk about the campaign is Mr. Neil Abercrombie and Dan Meisen's all in here doing the Climate 2010 all right, reporting. All right. Good to see you, sir. Thanks Thank for being you, here. Thank you. Danny. Really appreciate it. Let's start off with uh, yesterday's forum. Uh, with no. the uh, uh, Chamber of uh, Commerce there. Yes. And uh, you said that you would never, ever raise taxes. And, and before you, you, you address yes. this, I have to say, <laughs> th this came back to bite George W. Bush yeah. in the butt. Uh, yeah. uh, President Obama, it's, it's, it's hurting him right now. Mm -hmm. can, can, can you really say never, ever in the world of politics? Well, I, it, the, I think you really need to go to the other candidates. I said what I said without equivocation. We're not going to raise the GET tax, but uh, my opponent, on the other hand, has said a, a couple of different things, different times, including yesterday. He said he wouldn't raise it initially. That means it could happen that afternoon or at this time. Uh, those kinds of things, all kinds of qualifiers. Uh, you know me. Uh, if I say what I say, I think it's always pretty clear. I'm not raising the GET tax. But shouldn't that always just come with a, at least a caveat saying, hey, you know, I mean, what Hanneman said seemed to make sense to me just because he said, you know, d depending on the state of the economy. In how, other words, how, can you say, how can you say never? So, I, I guess that's, uh, that's the question. It, is it really realistic to say never to anything? Eight years, I no think, taxes? Well, maybe there's a different way of uh, trying to be governor. I think you have to prove to people that you can act efficiently and effectively with the money that you have. If you got extra money, do other people have extra money? I don't think so, not at this time. When you've got tough times like this, you need some leadership that's going to be able to swim in the water that it's in. Now, the plain fact of the matter is that people are struggling to pay their bills. They're, they're struggling to see to it that they're able to deal with their lives as they are right now. The last thing in the earth they need is a politician coming in and saying, well, I might not put it to you right now, but uh, don't, don't count on me not being able to do it tomorrow. Let me ask you a question. Look, look, take a look at the record. All right. uh, sewer fees. Three to five percent a year for the next 25 but years. We, we've we've discussed this before on this newscast, and sewer fees are something that the city council put off since mm -hmm. since I think the late or early 90s. So sewer fees to, to lay that all on the Hanneman administration, I think, is unfair. Uh, when you can say it's unfair, but when you're claiming executive leadership as the basis for asking people to vote for you and saying that you're able to get collaboration and get people to go along, it's what's been ignored. If you're in charge, you don't get to blame somebody else. You don't get to put it off on somebody else. Well, I, actually, I haven't heard him blame anybody else for the sewer fees, but I mean, it is a reality. The sewer fees thing has been, it's, it's been out there for a long time, and, and previous administrations and councils have avoided that issue. And, and the tax, the and how about the taxes going for the uh, residential pr uh, properties that are now being classified as commercial, and, and nobody knew about it? No, the plain fact of the matter is, when I say we're not raising the GET tax, if I'm elected governor, the GET tax is not going to get raised. If you elect somebody else as governor, what they're telling you is, is you never can tell when it's going to happen. We will save this tape, and if uh, Neil Abercrombie is elected governor yeah. and does raise a GET tax, we'll, we'll, we'll break it out, and if you don't, we'll, Ooh, I'll, I'll yes. apologies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to something that I think all the candidates can be agree mm -hmm. on, and, and this is something that uh, made the front page of the uh, Star Advertiser today. 97 polling sites closing down. Yeah. Uh, is this a concern for you, especially to help uh, get uh, your supporters out there? I mean, this that's, could be very discouraging if you go to a school where you voted before and it's shut down. That's why I voted yesterday. Uh, to uh, give a living example uh, of, of the idea that you can vote early. You can mail in your vote and, and you can go to uh, one, one of the city halls, satellite city halls, and, and vote. Get those votes in early because it's go uh, many people, I'm afraid, are going to go to where they think their polling booth uh, or polling place was and, uh, and it's not open. And then they'll be confused. They may not vote. So uh, this has to be taken up uh, by the next governor, I think, to make sure that we have the maximum number of polling places open, but also then to make it as easy as possible for people to vote. And that means a concentration on, on mail-in votes. And this is really a concern. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a concern because the whole... The, the, the very life of, of democracy depends on participation, and you want to maximize the opportunity for people to participate. That's why we're doing not just uh, grassroots now, the sign holding and, and the get out the vote activity. But Twitter but, and... Yeah, net and, roots. And in fact, you're doing it right here in KITV. Right. Uh, uh, Yasmin Dar. Yasmin and, uh, was just talking about the, the Twitter side, the, the Facebooks, all the rest of it. But the, the irony here I'm is... I'm sorry, sir. I do have to interrupt you. Uh, yeah. We have to keep going on, but... Uh, so catch me 
on NeilAbercrombie.com. There you go. All right. <laughs> Cut to the chase there. Uh, thank you very much for uh, being on our newscast this morning. We appreciate it. Uh, we have you scheduled on next week. We've also extended invitations to the Hanneman campaign. Uh, they have declined, saying that they want to keep it positive and they weren't happy with some of the topics that we want to discuss. Uh, once again, though, thank, thank God you, sir. for this positive really interview. It. That's right. Really thank appreciate you. it. <laughs> All right.